What's up guys, it's Josh and we're back again with another video. I've made a lot of videos about my time in high school, but I feel like you guys don't really know a lot about me. As I am leaving for Yale in only a couple days, I thought I would give you guys a little look into my life, and more specifically, what I plan on majoring in once I get to school. Let's get into it. So like any kid, I went through a lot of different phases when I was young. Originally, my dream was to be an archeologist. I had an unhealthy obsession with mummies and the pyramids. I watched way too many Indiana Jones movies, and read way too many books on Howard Carter and a bunch of other things. In my seven-year-old head, I was sure that I would get a degree in archeology span and then move to Egypt or something. I didn't have it all planned out. You know, we'd have career day every year in school and there were never any archeologists that showed up and I was always curious. Me being a very driven and aspirational kid, I wanted to have great successes when I was an adult. Soon I found out how much archeologists actually made and how hard it would be to become a successful archeologist. And that phase ended about around the age of 10, pretty promptly. Soon after, my dad showed me the movie The Sixth Sense. I had never seen anything like it, and it completely blew my mind. The famous twist at the end completely changed my perspective on the art form of cinema. I had been used to watching the same VHS Disney movies over and over again. I would never seen anything like it. This led me down a rabbit hole of watching way too many movies, but it also led to a newfound appreciation of cinematography and film. I did the cinematography merit badge, and then when all my other friends wanted to do it too, I wanted to help them through it because I was so obsessed. I wrote a couple short films and compiled them into this series that I called Total Randomness, starring my younger siblings. And I was determined to be a Hollywood movie director. Like my archeology span dreams, this phase was also short-lived and came to an end about the time I was 12, when I became more occupied with my studies and schoolwork. As I entered high school, I became so occupied that I didn't really think about what I actually wanted to do once I got to college. It was always just get into college, get into college, get into college. All I knew was that I wanted to be successful and that I liked math. That was about it. Eventually I got to higher level math classes and physics classes and also began taking computer science and I fell in love. This was a big turning point where I finally decided what I wanted to do with my future engineering and computer science. I began dramatically shifting my extracurriculars towards those goals. I became president of the rocketry team and started working on my own independent coding projects. As a part of the rocketry team, we had to design, build, and engineer our own rocket that met the specifications of the Team America Rocketry Challenge, meaning that our rocket had to go to a very specific height, and its flight time also had to be within a range of like two seconds, otherwise we would get points subtracted. And in addition to that, it also had to carry a payload, which was an egg. And if the egg was broken, you were immediately disqualified. This was a lot of fun because I got to do it with a lot of my good friends, and it really put my engineering and physics skills to the test. At the same time, I was trying to learn Java in my AP Comp Sci class, but since the school couldn't find anyone to actually teach the class, I had to teach myself, which eventually resulted in me not getting very far. As my other classes began to demand more of me, I just ended up using computer science class as a study hall. That was until I discovered a website called Free Code Camp. Through this website, I began learning HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, jQuery, and JavaScript. I really enjoyed this a lot more than my vanilla AP Comp Sci class because it actually was based around building really cool and unique projects. I've built multiple websites, a portfolio page, a weather app, a clock. I've even built a tic-tac-toe game and a Simon game. It's been a really unique experience that I've been able to do completely on my own. I recently completed the whole front-end development course and received my certificate and now I'm working on the back end. All these aspects of my life eventually led me to the final conclusion of what I would major in. I've chosen to study electrical engineering and computer science at Yale. It's possible that that may shift around a little bit, but I'm positive that I want to be an engineer. I'm super excited for the coming months as I begin starting school and I'll keep you guys updated with all the cool stuff I'll be doing. I hope you guys enjoyed the story of how I came to the decision of what major I was going to put on my college application. If you guys are curious about my engineering and computer science experiences in high school, Comment down below and I'll be glad to make videos about that. Also, while you're down there, you might as well drop a like and hit that big red subscribe button to support more content from me in the future. As always, I'll be back again tomorrow at 3 p.m. with another video. See you soon.